Let's take a look at the structure of our project. So at the moment we have a single index HTML that is exported into index PHP. But we need a place where we can define our blocks. And we could define them here on index, but I don't like that approach. It, it will become messy. So what we will do so let's save it and then we duplicate index and we call it blocks html and Pandora is asking us if we want to make this new page a master page and let's say no and it doesn't really matter because we don't want to export blocks html as a template. We just want to use it as a home for our blocks and then export the blocks from here. But we don't need blocks um, HTML to be exported. So we will click here like it's already selected the, the top HTML element. It has page settings action and here we say don't export this page. This page will only serve as a kind of factory home for our blocks. So now let's go back to index and we don't need, uh, we don't want to duplicate the content. So we can remove it. So let's leave the main as it is and delete all sections except the header and the footer. And now we can ask ourselves what to do with the header and the footer. Do we want them to be a part of the template or do we want to export them as blocks? It's up to us, but personally, I prefer to export them as blocks as well so that we can make them editable as well and then everything can be editable edited in, in one place like through through blocks instead of mixing up the customizer fields or, or other um, WordPress customization. So that's why I will also remove the footer and the header. And we have an empty template and all that we want to do with it is make it display the content of the displayed post or page. And to do that, we select the main and then we add show posts and we leave the main loop as the loop type. So this means that th this will be, this loop will go through whatever posts the template is supposed to display. You know, that, that's determined by WordPress and uh, by the type of the page we are looking at. So we just leave it, leave it as it is. And then we also add, we keep the main selected and we add post content action. And let's take a look at the PHP code that will be generated. And here we, we can see a, a classical WordPress loop and it goes through all the posts and it displays their content. That's all we want. Okay, now let's export the theme and go back to the WordPress dashboard, refresh the page and you know, nothing. It's empty and that's correct, that's what we want because now we can go and say edit page and then use blocks to build the structure and content of the page. But our blocks are not defined yet. So we will start doing that in the next part of the tutorial.